Hi everyone. Let's talk about the difference between expressivity and penetrance. These two terms often appear together in research articles as they are closely related. However, they mean slightly different things. Imagine you have just done a research project where you surveyed a large population of people and found that these 18 people have the same rare genetic mutation. This mutation causes people to grow mouse-like ears instead of wild-type human ears, and everyone here is homozygous for this mutation. On first glance, you might already be making some interesting observations. Not everyone in this group has mouse ears. Some seem to have human ears. Secondly, out of those with mouse ears, not every pair of ears are the same. Some are bigger, and some are smaller. You can better describe what you see by using the terms expressivity and penetrance. You might say that this mouse ear trait has incomplete penetrance. Penetrance means how often does someone with a specific genotype actually show the corresponding phenotype. In this case, 11 out of 18 people is showing the mouse ear phenotype. So, you can say that this mouse ear trait has around 61% penetrance. Another more general way to say this is that this trait has incomplete penetrance, or variable penetrance. The trait does not appear in every single individual with the corresponding genotype. A trait with complete penetrance will look something like this. Every individual that has the mutated gene also has the associated phenotype. Penetrance can be difficult to determine in some cases. Take these two individuals, for example. One has mouse ears where normal human ears would be, while the other has human ears where mouse ears should be. If you are researching this genetic mutation, you will have to decide how you are going to classify these two individuals. Do they both have the mouse ear phenotype? Or do only one of them do? Where you decide this threshold for mouse ear phenotype to be is then going to influence the calculated penetrance of the trait. This group of individuals also show variable or broad expressivity. Expressivity refers to the variation in severity or expression of the phenotype. In this example, some people might have bigger mouse ears, and some may have smaller mouse ears. Even though they have the exact same genetic mutation, the individuals who are expressing the associated mouse ear phenotype still look different from each other. A trait that has narrow or limited expressivity will look like this. Everyone with the genotype that is expressing the corresponding phenotype will express the phenotype in more or less the same way. Expressivity and penetrance are independent of one another. We can draw a table and think about what a sample group of individuals would look like if these two terms varied. A trait that has incomplete penetrance and broad expressivity would look like this. Not everybody with the genetic mutation is expressing the mouse ear phenotype, and not everybody with the phenotype is showing the same degree of expression. A trait with complete penetrance and broad expressivity would look like this. Everybody with the genotype is expressing the mouse ear phenotype, but not everyone has the phenotype to the same degree. Incomplete penetrance with narrow expressivity looks like this. Not everyone has the mouse ear phenotype, but those that do express the phenotype to about the same degree. And finally, complete penetrance and narrow expressivity. Everybody who has the mouse ear genetic mutation has the mouse ear phenotype and the phenotype is expressed to about the same degree in everyone.